lovely Taurus, welcome to your June 2019 Love and General Reading. I'm Gemstone Tarot. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Also for Cross Watchers and Venus. Let me just have a look. I am using the Cosmic Tarot, my lovely Taurians. We'll see if that comes out. Just had the Page of Cups there, but I want to see if that comes out. That's just a pre-shuffle card. Your cards are feeling a little bit jumpy, Taurus. A little bit edgy, a little bit nervous for some reason. Okay, something is on the move. Oh, okay. Some of you are waiting to hear from somebody. That's been quite a common theme for May, actually. Wow. This could have kicked off around the time of the Scorpio full moon. Okay. Some of you dealing with a water sign or waiting for someone to declare their feelings. Who is quiet? Definitely. very much want clarity okay it's kind of coming through really clearly so the Scorpio full moon was the 18th of May for some of you this goes all the way back to the Leo um, lunar eclipse that we had on the 21st of January Interesting cards, Taurus. This is a period of waiting. Some of you um, are kind of finding it hard to be optimistic. Some of you may be thinking of throwing the towel in on this situation. Because there just doesn't seem to be much happening on the surface, okay? I've got the King of Cups in reverse. Now, traditionally, it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But also the King of Cups for me as a reader is somebody who's in their feelings, who is flowing with their emotions, is happy to actually come out and say, I feel this or I feel that, you know? Um... I'm getting the word declaration, Taurus. It feels like you're waiting for a declaration from somebody. It feels like, it seems like it was promised, to be honest. And some of you are getting really cheesed off with waiting. Because on the surface of this reading, it looks like nil point, as they say in Eurovision. Look, we've got the eight of wands in reverse. This is communication. This is movement forward. This is momentum. This is what is happening here. You know, what is going on? I can feel that kind of sense of frustration. What is going on? For some of you, this is um, someone who's just not communicating with you. And it doesn't even seem to make sense why they're not communicating. The word liberation comes up as well, Taurus. You've got Major Arcana, the moon, in the reverse, along with the sun in the reverse. Now, when I get the sun and the moon in a reading, and particularly when they're in reverse, it takes me to eclipses. So, like I said in the beginning, 21st of January. Now, this could have even been going on for some of you during 2018, when we had the eclipses in Leo and Aquarius. So that was in January, it was in February, it was in August. We also had Venus in retrograde and Mercury in retrograde back to back and that was around August, September time. 
So some of you dealing with a Leo in particular, but also others of you, this is a history that has gone back over 2018's eclipses and then maybe flared again in January when we had that final big lunar eclipse in Leo, which was so, whatever that is, it was that. And now you're left with these fragments of a relationship, Taurus. Now, you know, we were saying in your, in your May reading, your mid-May reading, Taurus is a fixed sign. It's an earth sign. I always think of Taurus as a beautiful plant. Taurus needs watering, you know, some decent soil, nice pot. Um, you, it's not that you just need taking care of, because actually you're quite capable of taking care of yourself but you are a sensual, skin-led, bodily sign, you know? You are ruled by Venus. And detachment is not really your thing, you know? You're not... Detachment and silent space, which is what we seem to have here, is not gonna, not gonna make you a happy Taurus. So, Eight of Wands in reverse, Moon in reverse, and then King of Cups in reverse, someone who is not in their emotional truth with you. So someone is actually, not only are they not telling you something, but they've moved into some kind of denial as well to escape telling you something. We've got the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups, in the reverse. Again, this is waiting. And butterflies might be important to you, because although that isn't a butterfly, I saw it as one. <laughs> maybe you're looking for signs, maybe a butterfly is your sign, maybe it will be your sign with this person. But this card is in reverse at the moment. So you've been waiting for this person to come forward with a declaration to step up, to make their feelings clear, to make their feelings known. And at the moment, it's nada radio silence. Prince of Pentacles, okay? This is also Page of Pentacles. This is about patience. And when it's in the reverse... And Taurus is patient, you're a fixed sign, you're not in a hurry, but you are losing patience with this situation. Six of Wands in reverse. You fear that you actually can't, it's not that you want to win, you know, Six of Wands, the card of the winner, 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 chicken dinner. You know, you're not a child, are you, Taurus? You don't want to win. It's just nobody wants to be in a no-win situation. You don't want to take part if their heart's not in it, yet if they don't communicate with you, how can you have the heart to heart that's required in order for you to be able to make the right emotional decision? This is where you're caught up, okay? Now, what really interests me, okay, overall energy card, eight of swords in reverse. And look, there is a couple walking in a sort of a, a mind trap a sword trap. Now, swords for me are thoughts, ideas and words, conversations, arguments, back and forth, logic, you know, thinking rather than feeling. So, Taurus, with this card, I feel like you've hashed this out. You've had conversations. You have, you know, this is dialogue. This is dialogue. But it's dialogue that's gone round in a circle. It's circular dialogue. I think maybe you came together with this person. You talked about this, you know, maybe once, twice, three times. You went round and round and round in circles. Because there's something that hasn't been said. Okay, something that hasn't been said here. Now, in your extended reading, Taurus, I'm going to have a dig. Okay, I'm going to have a dig. It'll be a deep dig because this this is very shtum. This reading is very closed. It's very um, non-communicative. And yet here we have two cards which look like they want to open the lid of a box to me. The Ace of Swords. That's like, 
you know straight up the chakra as they say straight up the crown chakra it's communication it's ideas it's straight to the point it cuts it's the ace but you also have the ten look at that bad boy now the ace and the ten and they're both in the upright is a full gambit of a uh, of sword minor arcana you know it's one to ten ace through ten it's the full bit so that means taking in the two of swords you know which is stalemate this is this is where a heart to heart conversation between the two of you could go it could go we want clarity two of swords were hedging around three of swords revelations of shadiness or secrecy four of swords were hedging around five of swords were both standoffish were juggling for power six of swords i want to escape seven of swords okay here's something shady again here's some more truth eight of swords oh my god i can't believe you just told me that i'm trapped nine of swords i don't think i can do this ten of swords release and revelation there you go i just ran you through the whole of the the swords one through ten of how it can go okay that's how you communicate through the suit of swords and you have the ace of swords and the ten of swords to me that is a much needed and i want to say heart to heart but we don't really have any cups on the table except for the king of cups in reverse and the princess of cups in reverse so this is home truth time you want to get together with this person and you want to hash it out you want cards on the table you want to know the truth whether it's ugly whether it's unbearable because in this case it really will set you free taurus you can't eclipses as well you know we have another eclipse coming up in cancer on the 2nd of july that's a biggie eclipses won't let you keep the truth in each eclipse last year could have represented something that happened as well but there is a need for both of you to be set free from this and then from the king of cups in reverse we have the king of wands so some of you are dealing with a fire sign but some of you the message i really get is that you're dealing with someone who is passive, is silent, is maybe moody, is definitely quiet, is not telling you the full enchilada, that you feel frustrated about, that you feel irritated with, that you feel sad about, that you feel lost and mystified, and you want them to step up and take charge and take control. And even if that taking control is coming to you, with some kind of enormously hurtful truth that you need to hear, you would rather hear it than have this kind of mysterious hedging and silence, okay? We have temperance. Taurus, temperance is not a card that tells you to be patient, okay? It is a card of patience, but in this reading, I, I'm not gonna tell you to be patient because I've got three major arcana in a row. I've got the moon in reverse, the sun in reverse. So it's pointless. There's too much at stake for you here. It's too big. Your feelings are running too high. This is a phase now from beginning of June to the 2nd of July. It takes you through the month of kind of make or break with this person, with this situation. It's a make or break conversation meeting happening whatever it is let's have some chuck spezzano love cards so tourists if you want to book the extended reading that is on vimeo and it will be in the description box okay you can just follow the link in the description box to find it where well, i'm sure we'll have plenty to talk about I'm going to unpack, I'm going to unpack the Kings, I think, and the Eight of Wands and what you might be able to, yeah, there's some stuff gone down here, what you might be able to expect from a heart to heart conversation. Oh my God, Taurus. Look at these love cards. Okay, villain. This is when you think someone has done something, okay? Or they think you have, but I'm getting that you are on the receiving end of this betrayal some of you fear that betrayal okay 
and some of you fear that someone used you. Bad attitude, disposable. There is a lot at stake here, Taurus. There is a lot to be talked about. That Ace of Swords is like, poof. Yay. You get Treasure Island. I get for this, where there's muck, there's brass, okay? In other words, where there's dirt, there's money. You could be pleasantly surprised if you do manage to have a heart to heart with this person. Either way, do you remember when we said here, this is like prizing the lid off a box, okay? That box is not just gonna contain nasties, Taurus, okay? Look, we've got the confetti of hearts and stars. I love this. Also, it's on a sea turtle. And there is a saying, you know, the turtle wins the race. It's slow, it's steady, temperance. There is some element of long-term gain for you here, okay? Oh, Taurus. Okay, there's a prayer which I can never pronounce called the Ho'oponopono prayer. It is Hawaiian, I think. Jason Stevenson, I think he's got one on his meditation channel. It's a prayer of self-forgiveness, but actually it forgives a situation and a person and it can release because you get forgiveness. And it always starts with you, even if it's somebody else and their misdemeanors and what they've done. Forgiveness always starts with you, Taurus. Wow. OK, if you want the extended reading, you can go now straight to the um, description box and do subscribe Taurus and please do leave me a comment and like the video and uh, yeah I'd love to know I want to know how this resonates with you because it's a very powerful reading okay it's a very there's clearly a lot at stake all right so if that's where we part Taurus then I'll see you next time do check out my daily videos and my pick a card readings namaste